So behind me, we have my minimalist bike packing setup in here, plus a backpack. So in here behind me, I have my minimalist bike packing setup, and this episode is kind of sponsored by Zippo. They sent me out these products to test, try, take promo photos of, and report back how well they work. I have three parts of many of their bags available, so check out what they've got. And I am able to store a three-person tent. Now this is that standard three-person tent that only really fits two people in a bit, but a three-person tent and a sleeping bag in just the two bags. And I have room in the rear bag. I still have my full backpack for all my gear, camera gear, clothes, supplies. And I have my central triangle where I can get a bigger bag to store other supplies. If you are really doing a multi-week trip, I think you'd need that middle bag. But a good weekend out, I don't think you have any need for it. So let's go check out some of the products. All right, so this is the Z10. This is the front pouch for it. It has three straps on it which hold it to the bike. Two on the handlebars. It has multiple positions for the straps to go on, depending on what you already have on your handlebar. I only have a reflector, but if you had a computer mapping, stuff like that, you need to be able to space it out or put it in no matter what. It just quickly clips off and Velcros in. And this is a waterproof, fully waterproof, weatherproof, bag so in here I have my fly to cover the tent in case it rains and a small sleeping bag and I probably could get a teeny bit more in here like a waterproof jacket or something like that you could also just use this straight as a wrap for any other supply my tent bag fits right here and wraps up and then I'm still left with a dry bag I could find a location for but it fits so well in here I thought he'd use it appropriately and then the Velcro makes it really easy to put back on. So cool other details is the Zipho logo is all reflective. You have a reflective patch here. And then this is actually a light hook. So you're able to actually hook a light. Does kind of impede a little bit. If you had a handlebar light which was on the front, you could actually get one right here which would illuminate. If you're doing a lot of bike packing on public roads, bit bigger across Canada or something like that, it is good to know that you can actually huck something on the front here as well as those little reflective stuff. All their tie downs are super nice. They all affix so you're not gonna have any flapping around in the wind and that's on all of them. It's really nice. Some have these latches, others have a stitched piece of Velcro on there so it'll really prevent it from coming off. Overall, it works well. This does not weigh that much on the front of my handlebar. I have no problem riding with it. Next, we'll go to the back. This is the R10. The front one I think I called the Z10, but it's the Z Adventure F10. And this is a Z Adventure R10, front and rear, obviously. This one as well is a very expandable bag. So it has this roll top here, which I've got a full tent, all the tent poles, everything in there, all the tent pegs, like all that stuff, and still lots of room that I can fit a ton more stuff in here, and that is really nice. It is waterproof again. It simply rolls up as much or as little as you need to fit as much or as little as you want in there. Has these pull tabs with again that same clasping system where it pulls really nice, tight, done. It as well has reflective patching on it for travel and multiple light hooks on it, which is really cool. 
because you just never know where the bag's gonna be lined up. So this one, I can just get a light on the top. Not perfect, but it would work. I didn't do that roll very well, but who cares for demonstration purposes. On the side, it hooks underneath the seat rails with this one, which again has a little Velcro tab to it, so it won't ever flap around in the wind. And a lower seat post Velcro to attach really securely to the bike. It has a nice flat spot on it, and this is like a hard, rigid box for the lower half. And then at about this point up, it goes to a soft bag. So you can actually put something, maybe not fragile in here, but a little more needing something protection. This also works. It has a leather patch on the underside or a fake leather patch to uh, prevent wear and tear because you get, get mud, debris, all that throwing up on it. So it does act as a true fender with protection there for the bag, for longevity. I really like this bag actually. It's again, I hardly notice it's there. I have additional strapping on top so I could expand this really big and put a rain jacket or something quick access there. And that's nice to have. But overall, when I'm riding it, even on some kind of double track trails, I don't notice it. It doesn't feel like there's something weighing me down on the back. And overall, I think I've added at least 10 pounds onto the bike. My tent is obviously a lightweight one, but it, it's not a light ultra light packing one. I didn't buy a specific lightweight packing one. I'm surprised I managed to fit it into here. It does take up the full post size. It is a three person. So technically you could fit three people in. So it's far bigger than I need for bike packing, but it's comfy. You can fit a lot in it and that's nice. So last but not least is possibly the favorite of them all and the one which will get used the most. Whereas the other two bags are specific for bike packing. There's not much more use for them. The front one and the back one could be used for light commuting. Like you could fit a lot of stuff in both of them and you wouldn't have to take both and they're both lightweight. So it would be handy for a longer commute or something like that. But the top two pouch is gonna be the most used one by far. This will pretty much stay permanently on my bike. It's small, but it's, it works. It has a spot for your phone. It's soft touch on the interior. It has netting so your keys can get put in it so they won't scratch your phone. It also has a little Velcro piece, a little Velcro piece that comes out so it'll help put a divider, stop your phone from rattling around as much. Again, waterproof zipper, quick easy tab to get to, multiple positions so you can adjust it on the underside for strapping depending on the bike you're using. And then little details again where they've put extra stitching and extra protection on the front right where your stem would be, right where the wear point is gonna be or a hard point rubbing into it. So it's extra protection thinking of about the bags and the things inside them that all of these have. And I think that's what really makes them a good quality product. This isn't just a cheap product. This is something that is made to be durable and last while bikepacking over and over and over again. So keep an eye out on the channel. We're gonna be doing a bit of bikepacking as fall comes in and the cooler nights. We'll be doing some ASMR camping videos and this is gonna come along with us fully loaded and we are gonna get out here and enjoy some cool air and some great change in leaves. It's gonna be pretty cool. Should you look into bike packing? 110%. One, they look cool. I feel cool on it. I mean, look at that. It looks like I'm going on an adventure. And two, it's something to do. It pushes you a little bit further. It pushes you to stay out past, you know, dusk, dark. Now you've got to stay all the way over, make fires and enjoy it. And all of it can be contained in just those three little bags plus a backpack and that's it. I'm bringing everything, cameras, drones, all that, clothes, hoodies, fire making stuff, and a small amount of food for only a few days worth of bike packing in here. Obviously, if you're going for weeks or across Canada, you're gonna need a little more than this, but not that much more. I think just that center bag would really make a big difference and fill that triangle up. As well, a bigger backpack you can always fit on, or you can be like those guys with a trailer. So check out the ZFL stuff below. And thank you Zifo for sending me this stuff. It does look sweet. It matches my bike perfect with the red and black accents. And I am very excited to get out there and try it out in person. This is just a little preview, a little demo. Otherwise, let's go on a bit of an adventure. Otherwise, before we leave, ending with just a bit of an adventure ride out there, checking it out. 
Thank you. Good luck. Ugh. <sighs> 